And I came up with yet another um, project, which I will show you here. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. It's, it's fairly difficult. But you can see the fabric that's inside there almost looks like it's um, mauve colored or whatever color that is. It's a, I don't know. What it is, is it's black that has just faded really badly in the sun. You know, the sun just beats in here. So, um, I've seen on a number of, of uh, shows like Trucks on uh, Spike where they have done the um, vinyl and fabric paint where you can actually paint fabric. Never tried it before, but I think that will be a, the perfect place to try it is on that on that package shelf because it's very expensive to buy a new one. Buying a used one is, well, I don't know. I, I just haven't, I haven't gotten there yet. So I got nothing to lose like everything else on this car. Um, it's a way to learn something new. So my plan is to take this package shelf out. From what I understand, shouldn't be too difficult. That coming from a person who owns a BMW and constantly curses over the fasteners and everything else. But I'm going to get it out and uh, clean it up and then I'm going to give this stuff a try. And because it's vinyl and fabric, I went ahead and got a can of adhesion promoter. And everything I've ever seen says that if you're going to spray plastic or vinyl, you have to put this adhesion promoter on first. My project for this weekend was to um, remove and dye the rear package shelf, which I'll show you in a minute. And um, I just do not have the ability to film because I don't have, I use my iPhone for this and I don't have a way to mount the iPhone. So to be able to film and show you what's happening all at the same time. So I thought what I would try, we'll see how it works is sort of show you the end result and tell you how I got there. So the first step in this process with, with the, the seat back would be in its place is you just reach up under the front lip, the front lip of the seat, the bottom seat, and just give it a little jerk up and it'll pop right up. You can see it's right here and the only thing that holds it in are, uh, there are a couple of little clips right there. It literally will just pop up and then as you pull it out, you just pull your seat belts, push your seat belts through the holes. Okay, so once you've, once you've got that seat out, pretty much if you're just going to take the back seat out, then what you'll need to do is you can see right here, there's two fasteners and they go right there and they're um, Torx 50s and they have a, a Loctite on them or thread lock on them. So th they're a bit of a bear to get out. So once you've got those two out, next comes <laughs> the really hard part. Right here you can see on both sides there is what almost looks like a door lock mechanism. You can see it's spring loaded and what that has done is that has grabbed a hold of these two rings. There's one here and there's one over there. And I had to go online to find out how to do it. I had no earthly idea. So the answer is, and I, I don't think I'm going to be able to I'm just too fat to get in the trunk and do it. But there is a video online of a guy who was able to get in here and do it. But this is the trunk looking forward. And up there, I don't know how to, how to do it any better. But up there, there's a hole. And what you have to do is you have to take a really large screwdriver and if you can find that guy's video online, it's all I can suggest. I'm, I'm just too fat to get up in there. But what you do, and basically, is you stick a screwdriver up in this hole. Okay, I'm in the car now. And you have to pry this, 
this mechanism that's down in here, it's got to go to the outside of the car. And you can see that as, by pushing it, sticking up through this hole where my finger is, and pushing it to the outside of the car, basically what it's doing is it's opening this up. And when the seat's in there, apparently one, one way or another, it keeps the thing open. So you get this one open, go over there and get that one open. And believe me, it's not going to work the first time unless you're really, really lucky. But then all you have to do is come into the car. Of course, the, the, the seat is, is back here, but sort of kneel in the center, grab hold of it, and you have to just sort of pull out. And if, if you're lucky, one or the other of them won't snap back shut because it, you, just have to, you just have to do it. So, once you've got it away, tipped up a little, then you just sort of grab in the center on the bottom and lift up, and you can see right here on both sides, there's this piece of wire that just goes down into that little receiver hole right there. So you sort of pull the top back, lift up on it. I chose not to take it completely out of the car, I just didn't, didn't really need to. So, that's step two, is now you've got either the back is out of the car, or in this case, it's just out of the way. I, I guess it depends on what project you're doing as to whether that's where you stop. Now, my, um, my goal was to get the package tray out, and as with everything, that becomes a bit more complicated. The first step was there are three, um, one here, one in the middle, one on the other side. There are three little uh, flip-up catches that the safety seats for the child seats lock onto. So you lift it up, you stick a, a Torx down in there. I'll have to look and see which one it was, I don't remember. But anyway, it just unscrews and you take the three of those out. Then the next thing you do is this is the... Uh, well, I'll show you that one over there. The rear wing panel, the gray piece, normally would go right in there. So there's, um, there's this little plug in each one of them. It says airbag on it, which is a little terrifying, but actually it's, it's not. So you pop that out, take the screw out, and quite simply, so, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. This is the um, this is the door kind of rubber molding. You just uh, pull pull the front edge of this panel out here, and you can see there's two slots here. So you just kind of grab the panel. Once you've got it out out of here, just grab it and just pull it toward the front of the car. Those two little tabs will slide out, and there you go. So you, the, both the wings come out, and I'll show you those two in a minute. Then, what I did was I took out the two large speakers with three little screws, and there's two wires connected. This is the, um, the car central uh, sound. And then there's another wire right next to this that comes out and goes to the small, I think it's called a tweeter, which is still in the package cell. So now you're making progress. Um, so once you've got the three the three bolts out of the child seat holders, you've got both wings out, you take the two big speakers out. Then um, all I did was um, pop out along here. There's, uh, I think there's five. One, one back here, two, three, four, five of the little uh, plastic fasteners. If you're a BMW user, you've seen these before. Little plastic fastener with the uh, centerpiece. Um, once you got those out, uh, then you're getting close. In order to take the package shelf out completely, you've got to be able to feed the seat belts through the seat belts here through to get the package shelf out. So again, there's uh, three connections. There's one here. Again, it's a Torx 50. 
These seatbelt ones are black, so I've tried to sort of um, keep them separated a little bit. You can see there's another one all the way over there. And then you can see there's one right there, and there's a little screw that sticks out on each one of them that locates where this where this tab goes. So, so you can see it goes over goes over the little screw. Uh, it's going to be hard to see. It's a dang black in here. But in any event, the, the 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 screw that's sticking out goes in the little slot, and then the Torx 50 goes through there. Then the final step is you'll see attached to the seatbelt is this plastic uh, escutcheon piece. And all you have to do is uh, mash these little tabs in, push it through the uh, package shelf, then feed it and the seat belt and the tip up through the hole. And uh, all that sounds like a lick of paint and a piece of wallpaper and you're done. And it's probably, I don't know, an hour or more than I'm here. But now I'll show you the, the real reason that this whole project is taking place. And there it is you can see clearly that under the speaker grills it's still black and back here where it was under the seat back it's black as night but I don't know what color that is it's purple or my wife keeps calling it mauve I don't know what it is but it's it's just really ugly and as I mentioned um, the one speaker wire that stays in the car comes here and connects this is the other speaker wire that goes to this little speaker here you can see the same thing on this side. This goes to this little speaker. So presumably the, the power and the sound come in, go to the big one, and then go out and go to this one. Oh, I did forget to mention, not that you wouldn't have figured it out, but there are speaker grills that uh, you need to pop out to. These are the uh, the A-pillar, or not A-pillar, I guess they would be like the C-pillar pieces or something. Um, so that's the, the driver's side. And um, this bit here, is what's tucked behind that uh, uh, rubber molding. They look kind of, you know, kind of crappy too. And I don't know. I'm going to try cleaning them up. Uh, I don't really know. I, I don't want to get into having to replace the whole headliner and all that other stuff because that would just be a that would just be a nightmare. And I I just don't I don't know. So I'm going to try cleaning them up. So that's it for now. Um, the next uh, next step is going to be. Uh, Okay, YouTube, it's Hair BMW. Just a quick update. I uh, showed you my rear package tray for my uh, E90-330i a few minutes ago. Um, and this is what it's looking like right now after two well, moderate coats of the uh, Duplicolor uh, vinyl and fabric dye. Um, and again, it's always hard to tell whether it's it's going to show up good on the video or not. But I got news for you, folks. In person, it is beautiful. So um, we'll know in a little while. I'm going to give it several hours to dry good. But I have to say, for uh, seven dollars and ninety-five cents, uh, and what will probably turn out to be a couple of hours of time to get it out and paint it, put it back in. Um, I am really, really happy with the way it's looking. And it occurred to me before that I didn't mention, and I should have, when I was going through the removal process. Um, <laughs> the folks that had this car at some point before me had children. And I had shown in my video um, some of the crud that I had taken out of here. And, uh, boy... There is even more of it you can see right there that I, <laughs> I don't know what those kids were eating in this car. I, we don't have children, so I can't speak from experience, but goodness, it's a mess. So uh, while that uh, package shelf is drying, I'm going to get in there and vacuum and scrape and get my carpet cleaner and see what I can do with it. But anyway, thought I'd give you a quick update. I think that's going to look like a million bucks when it's done. And uh, here in a little while, I'll give you all an update on my uh, brake bleeding project. There's the, <laughs> it, it's not turned out to be a good day with that project. So I'll fill you all in on that later. But for right now, um, 
I have to tell you that the old Duplicolor vinyl and fabric die uh, so far seems to be the ticket. All right, we'll talk to you in a while. Okay, YouTube. So in my uh, continuing prog uh, project with the rear package shelf, these are the two rear, I guess they would be the C-pillar covers. And again, always hard to tell whether it shows up. But when you get them out in the sun and you look at them, they're looking, they're looking ratty, really ratty. You know, I got nothing to lose. The first thing I'm going to try and do is clean them with my uh, carpet and fabric cleaner and see what that does. And I got nothing to lose. And depending on how that goes, um, uh, I've showed you already, this is the way my rear package shelf turned out with that uh, Duplicolor uh, fabric and vinyl die. And I might, I might, if I if I ruin them with the cleaner, if I if I by trying to clean them, if I make them ruined, then what I might do is I might just do them as black. So what that would mean is right now the the gray would continue down here, meet the seat down here, and it would meet the black package shelf. Um, worst case scenario is if I paint them black, the gray would just start there. Um, it's a nice crisp line, and it would be black into the seats, black into the package shelf, so who knows. So the next time that, uh, that I get back to you, you'll know what I know. It's not perfect. This one here, I have cleaned, and a lot of gunk, you can, you can actually see on my, on my rag, a lot of gunk has come off, and it looks a lot better. It is not perfect. But neither is the car, and neither am I. So that is the cleaned one. And then here, just as a matter of comparison, you can see is the uncleaned one. And it's just, you know, the dirt is just everywhere, and it's a lot more irregular. So I think I'm going to luck out. Um, not sure whether that's going to come out or not. And quite frankly, I did that when I was trying to get this panel off. Um, I don't know why it made a mark. It was my it was my hard um, it was my hard plastic tool, but nevertheless, it, it doesn't appear to be a it's not a tear or anything. So um, I'm now going to clean the other one. and We'll see what happens. Just wanted to give you a quick update before I put the seat back in and show you that the uh, the carpet cleaned up really nicely in here. Very happy with that. The C pillars are back in. Not perfect, but uh, much, much cleaner, looking much better. And uh, really, really thrilled with the way the, uh, the rear package tray turned out. You can see it's uh, just as black as night. Hopefully you've already seen my, uh, my little image of it before and after when it was laying on the floor. But you can see even here through the window, everything is all nice and black. So very happy with that. Just about to start putting the uh, seat back in. Everything's going back together uh, just, uh, just as it should. So very happy about that, cleaning as I go. I'll get back to you in a little while and uh, probably the next thing you see will be the finished product. Okay guys, here's the, the final look. And I, I understand it's difficult to see, but there's the back of the seats. There's the speaker grill and then one, two, three of the little child seat holders and then you can see the ventilation duct that runs around the back window and everything else in between is a beautiful jet black package shelf so it's gone from that crazy kind of purplish mauve color to uh to a really really nice black and um i don't have any decent way of showing it to you with the black car, I sound like a broken record with that, but it's, it is difficult, but you can see everything went back together. It's a bit whiffy in here. Um, anytime you paint, it gases off and it's a, it's a, it's got a bit of an odor to it, but I honestly, uh, do not think it could have turned out any better. Um, the, uh, the panel covers, the C-pillar covers that went back on look much better and much to my relief they don't make the rest of the headliner look terrible so that's it i just thought i'd give you a quick update and uh sort of finalize the project on the 
2006 E90 330i. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later.